Hi, so you caught me in the middle of my work day and I was just sitting here a lot like this, unable to keep my eyes open. And when coffee no longer works, I just want an excuse to show you my adorable yellow submarine. <laughs> when coffee isn't working anymore, there's only one other solution I can think of, hot sauce. So before we get started, I'm gonna talk to you about police hot sauce bring the heat. I love police sauces. It's not the sauce that we're reviewing. However, it is the sauce that we're shouting out. And ironically enough, it does link and tie into the sauce that we are reviewing today, Inca Gold. Pulley's got an awesome sauce called Maruga Island. And a lot of the thing, the theme for pulley sauces are little tribal masks and stuff like that, which kind of reminds me here of the Inca Gold. So if you like them spicy, you like them flavorful, go check out Pulley's Hot Sauce. And let's roll into this, okay? So we've been rolling down the lineup from Bob and Brian's. And Bob and Brian's are sauces from Australia, right? I know, I'm kind of a big deal. I know, I know, it's awesome. So this is one of the sauces that they sent me. I'm working my way up from mildest to spiciest. So we've already tried the original. Very delicious sauce. Already plowed through quite a bit of that one. It's really good. If you didn't see that review, go check that one out. So now we're going to go the next step up. Inca Gold Peruvian style chili sauce. Perfect for pork, chicken, and fish. Or guinea pig, if you wish. That's exactly what it says. I'm into weird shit, if you are, <laughs> okay. Uh, really cute write-up here on the back about Bob and Brian and their history. If you want, you can check out in the description below. I've added all of that information. Uh, the ingredients are as follows. Let me hold it like this so you can see the label while I read the ingredients. Okay, it's too close. Tomatoes, fresh orange juice, capsicum, brown onions, carrots, chilies, ahi pineapple, ahi limon, ahi mango. Uh, apple cider vinegar, Celtic sea salt, garlic, coconut sugar, South American golden berries, fresh lime juice, spices, cumin, coriander, oregano, cinnamon, fresh basil, fresh peppermint, ground black pepper. Okay, so this is the second one that I've had of these guys that have the golden berries, and I must say the golden berries are a pretty cool ad. Uh, never had a sauce with golden berries in it until Bob and Brian's, but it's neat because the last sauce, it gave it a neat little sweetness. Tang. Oh my God, Katie, get into the damn bottle. Okay, there we go. So I'm excited to see what we have here. Um, it does not have any type of heat indicator scale on here whatsoever. So we're really just going rogue and hoping for the best. Uh, if you're interested in getting your own sauces by Bob and Brian's, please check them out on Facebook. Check this out. There you go. Everything you could ever need or want to know about them is right there. So go check all that out. Give them a shout out. Tell them that you saw Katie B's review, that she's absolutely adorable. You know, just go brag and talk about me. <laughs> okay. Ooh, freshness guaranteed. It did give me a little pop when I opened the bottle. Ooh. Ooh, okay. That one definitely has a vinegar bite. I can smell those spices, the coriander, the cumin, the oregano for sure. I smell the pepper. The pepper is in there, baby. I'm getting nervous. It smells like it's gonna be really good. Very savory and robust. Oh, let's see how she pose. Ooh, I like that pour. It does have like some chunky monkeys going on in there from the peppers, not as much as the original did. All right. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Dude, these are really freaking good. This one's saltier. I like salty. Salty is my jam. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. -hmm. That's what's up. I like that. That's really good. Yeah. That's really savory robust salty little bit of spice <laughs> it's just a little spicy <gasps> oh excuse me it's just a little spicy no excuse me not that bad excuse me <laughs> that's good i really like it 
That's a very tasty sauce. I recommend if you're going to eat sauce uh, straight up out the bottle, eat first. I don't ever do that. I love that. That is incredibly savory. Excuse me. Not very spicy. I would put that on everything. Everything. That's a nice, clean pepper burr. Oh, not pepper burr. Not too high on the vinegar at all. No one ingredient outshines or outdoes the other. Oh, excuse me. But I'll definitely say the mixture blend of spices in there. Yeah, that gives it a wonderful flavor. Oh, excuse me. All in all, that's a pretty tasty sauce. So if you didn't see my original review, go back in time, check out the original. The original is a little bit, excuse me, sweeter than this. Yeah, this is the salty, savory cousin. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. There are like peppers in there, as you can see. There's like actual bits and flecks of pepper in there, but I wouldn't kick it out of bed, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm still in it. Mm hmm. That's wonderful. That's really good. I like that one. That one blew my dress up. Um, so. Just taking a little bit of time here to perk myself back up. Bob and Brian, so far so good. Really enjoying these international sauces from Australia. If you are interested in trying something new and spicing up your life a little bit, go check these guys out on their website, Facebook, Instagram. They happily ship to the U.S., which is awesome. So, two for two, Bob and Brian, you make good sauces. So far, that one's my favies. Um, yeah, stick with me. We got more to go through. I love this shit. If you have a sauce that you love or that you make uh, or that you just want to try and light my ass on fire with, please, by all means, shoot me an email. Go to my website, ktbsaucy.com. Let me know. Uh, if you have a small business, sauce business you're trying to get off the ground and you want everybody to know about, I am happy to run my mouth all about your business. Um, and if not, if you just like me and like my content and enjoy watching people randomly get the hiccups sometimes for no explicable reason, then please hit that subscribe and follow button. Otherwise, God bless. Y'all take care.